Hello everybody. I get asked a fair amount what kind of recording software I use to do my tutorials. Um, so I figured I'd just mention what it is. It used to be Cam Studio, but Cam Studio has really gone downhill recently. Uh, Fraps was popular as well, and it, I use it when I need really, really specific applications, but it's not very adaptable. My official recommendation these days is open broadcaster software. It's an open source project, so you can go ahead and get it regardless of uh, uh, how much cash you've got. I'm not sure which. Uh, I'm not sure it's compatible with every operating system, but it works well on Windows, and I think it almost certainly works well on Linux. Although I can't vouch for that. Um, it's open source, so the interface can be a little bit clunky, but it's got everything I need, and it runs really well. So if you're wondering what you should be using, I would recommend that. As to what I'm recording, as you might have guessed, I'm recording Kerbal. Uh, this is a heavy communications satellite that I'm launching. Now, I have a lot of constraints as to what I am allowed to do and what I am not allowed to do uh, here in my particular version of Kerbal. I'm not allowed to use any struts, which makes it very difficult to launch things. I'm not allowed to actually broadcast science. I'm using a life support mod, a uh, deadly re-entry mod, uh, and a whole bunch of other things to make my life miserable, because Kerbal is kind of an easy game. So I, I struggle hard to find ways to make it more complicated, and I found a whole bunch. Um, this is a communication satellite. I don't have very much technology at the moment. I've just researched these solar panels, so uh, I've just kind of cobbled together communication satellites, and these are intended to be quite heavy, so um, they have four dishes each, and I'll be unfolding them once we reach a, you know, a slightly more stable position here, and you'll be able to see the design, which I am quite fond of. I think it's a neat design. Alright, so let's unfold here. It's not triggering properly. There we are. And let's get rid of that guy. So this is the design that I went with. And you can see that it's got four panels. There we go. Yep. It's got four panels, and that's enough to communicate with uh, a triad of satellites and home, as necessary. Uh, now, I've actually popped this far beyond the required range uh, for geosynchronous because I want it to be a third of a phase behind this guy, which means I've got to go out further or stay in close. Either way works. Um, there's no real difficulty with fuel, so might as well go ahead and make it uh, whatever, whatever happens to go well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights. Uh, one of the things I really like about the new Kerbal is it's got better lights. But the reason I went away from Kerbal for a long time, and only recently came back, um, it wasn't a long time, but for a while, uh, was because Curse took over the Kerbal spaceport, and it's basically um, the mod manager I use is uh, kind of annoying and nightmarish. But it looks like I've got to go over here and turn this guy to point to my satellite and get a good good combination here. Um, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of Curse, so uh, I basically stopped using mods and therefore stopped using Kerbal for a long time. Um, but I recently went back to the... Uh, oh, not says target, just switched to... I recently went back to the official forums and downloaded some stuff from there, and that still all works fine, so I decided to give it a shot again. I haven't downloaded any, any new mods in terms of... Uh, these are all mods that I'm fairly familiar with, but they're much further along in their development life cycle, so I'm really getting to have some fun with, uh, with them as a more complicated set of features. So right now we're just going to position this in orbit, and uh, I'm afraid this isn't going to be very interesting. So if you wanted to stop listening now, um, that's all you really needed to see. Uh, I'm using open broadcaster software, and it works well, and I recommend everyone use it. Um, 
If you run into problems with open broadcaster software being very slow on your computer, you probably won't be able to get anything else to work. Uh, it's not... Uh, there's nothing that is um, significantly less resource intensive as far as I can tell. So there's that. Um, if you can't get Open Broadcaster to work, you probably can't get anything to work. But, hey, maybe I'm wrong. You can go ahead and give it a shot and tell me what you think. So, the range of um, uh, geosynchronous is around here. In case you're wondering. Uh, I actually did a mistake though, and uh, we're gonna fall more than one phase, more than a third of a phase behind this guy. Um, oh, it might be good. It's pretty close. Uh, look, it's gonna be exactly one third of a phase. I didn't make a mistake. I did it wonderfully, um, so that's fine. What we're gonna do is burn to circularize, and then we will be done. Of course, in Kerbal, there's always been a bug where in certain situations the satellite's orbits will be reverted and no matter how carefully you've positioned everything uh, if it stops calculating things properly and just reverts your satellite you're pretty well screwed regardless so if that happens to you this will be worthless so I usually have someone running around in an inner orbit that'll catch up um, and I also make sure to have a little bit of spare fuel so that I can reposition these as needed as you can see, this design here, I'm going to turn off the lights for a second, this design here has a uh, Mark II fuselage as its primary uh, structural component. So this is the fuel fuselage, which also happens to be a converter, keeping it looking nice. And then this is a cargo bay, and I just stuck everything in the cargo bay for, for looks sake. And in the inside we have a relatively narrow uh, set of controls and a uh, gyro and a heat uh, exhausting radiator so that we have uh, no heat buildup and no spin and everything works fine. And personally I like how this looks. You can launch up a lot more functional uh, launches in terms of attaching reflector dishes to the outside of the hull and not trying to put them inside any protective barrier or anything. Uh, I really prefer to play Kerbal as if it had dangerous um, launch mechanics, uh, which is one of the reasons I don't use struts, but it's also the reason I tend to try and tuck things away and then deploy them when I reach deep space. Alright, that's it. Not No real content. Sorry. Just a random video.